Hi guys, this is Navdi from Delhi Immigration Services. Today we have uh, an applicant with us who got the Canada study visa in the very first attempt. Uh, she uh, has worked as a teacher in UAE and she went for a Master of Education program at the University of Manitoba. Uh, she got it in the first attempt, so we'll just talk to her and see how her profile is and how she has become a successful candidate. Uh, hi ma'am, uh, first of all, many congratulations to you for the approval. Hi, Navdeep. Thank you so much. It's all because of your hard work. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Welcome. And uh, can you talk us through your academic background and uh, work experience as well? Uh, Yes. Um, so uh, in terms of my academics, I have completed my bachelor's of science and uh, then I did my bachelor's of education because I was interested in the teaching field. Yep. And since then, I'm working as a secondary teacher in the Gulf. And it's it's been about eight years uh, that I've been working as a teacher. So it has been a great experience. Um, academically, I was good and I had a lot of aspirations. So I thought of uh, pursuing my master's. Yep. And uh, then, you know, I decided to apply to one of uh, the renowned universities in Canada, in uh, Canada, that's University of Manitoba. And yeah, so we got in touch with you. And that's how the entire process began. Yeah, so you went for University of Manitoba, not many students have seen applying there. So who suggested you for that particular program? Um, it was actually a little bit of a research work because uh, I wanted to do something in the thesis field. Uh, and uh, I have heard a lot about University of Manitoba. They provide, uh, you know, a great masters of education course, uh, especially their thesis program. It has, um, you know, a lot of value and in terms of, um, you know, future aspects as well. So a little bit of research work from my end. And uh, that's how, you know, I landed up, uh, you know, thinking that, OK, let me uh, go ahead with uh, the University of Manitoba. And how easy was it to get into the university? Did they accept you easily or was there a long list of requirements? Uh, how was that? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. There was a long list of requirements and, um, uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, paperwork that had to be done. They had asked for written samples and, um, you know, uh, in terms of uh, what work I have done, my background and um, the IELTS requirement is uh, also quite high there. So, yeah, it is challenging. But uh, I think it was, um, you know, a little bit of research work also. And uh, my grades were good um, when I was uh, doing my graduation. So I think all that uh, just added. And uh, by God's grace, I just got through. Yeah. So uh, after getting accepted to the university, man, um, uh, how did you find about us? Like, has somebody recommended you? Or also, what were the challenges that you part that about the visa process are which made you you know go for some concern yeah so after um, i got the uh, letter from the university um, now we in fact before that itself we had um, you know we, we were researching a lot about how to go ahead and uh, we met quite a few consultants in UAE as well, but we were not very satisfied and, uh, you know, we didn't uh, proceed with the process with them. Then me and my husband, we were just, you know, uh, searching uh, uh, online on YouTube and on social media, other platforms, and then we got through your YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, we heard the review from the people, especially the videos which you make. It's like it's it's very easy to connect because you are actually, you know, talking to the applicant and you are uh, letting people interact with them in a way that you are, you know, the, the applicant is sharing his or her experience. So I think that is what uh, made us connect with you because we thought that you were absolutely genuine and uh, that's how we got in touch with you. So I think I had sent an email and then, uh, you know, you had called us back. Uh, so that's how the entire process started. And uh, you explained us about the entire process, the documentation and how we are supposed to go ahead uh, from, you know, each step day by day. And, uh, you know, honestly, it was it, it seemed very easy because the way you had explained everything to us in such a systematic way, 
it didn't feel that it's going to be challenging yeah i know it's it's a challenging process there's a lot of uh, work background work that is required but you had uh, you know handled everything in such a smooth way that i also was uh, you know really relaxed once i uh, spoke to you because when uh, i remember when we had our first meeting uh, it it was you know uh, very clear to me okay that this is the person and i'm going ahead with them so uh, i thought okay fine I, and i told you also navdeep you know i am just very convinced by the way you have spoken to me and i am putting my you know complete trust in you and i'll just go ahead how you guide me so it was a very very smooth journey navdeep um, from day one itself uh, you know you you never uh, uh, hesitated in giving us a call or setting up zoom meetings uh, although you know we are living here so it, it's difficult you know for uh, because of the time difference and all but uh, it was uh, it was very smooth working with you uh, initially uh, when you know when we uh, had uh, a first few meetings like um, we we used to talk almost like for hours and you used to explain us the entire steps and i started feeling guilty after a few meetings i i told my husband also we haven't paid navdeep anything we've not even asked for his charges till now and i'm feeling guilty that we've already you know he's already given so much of inputs to us and he's uh, you know explaining to us everything in so much detail so it it is really you know great to work with you you are um, a professional person very organized and that's how the Uh, you know we started off and uh, you know putting our uh, faith just everything in your hands and that's how the journey started thank you very much for the kind words uh, also ma'am uh, when you you know you mentioned that you had to do a lot of research about the uh, acceptance you know for getting accepted to university uh, so uh, all, for the visa process also you know what are your learnings which you may have learned throughout the process and what piece of advice would you like to give to the other students maybe you know based on your learnings that you know if they are preparing they may be able to prepare well so any piece of advice mm -hmm. based on your learnings would be very helpful yeah so um, my learnings are totally dependent on you navdi because regarding the visa process yes i was doing my um, research there are uh, you know a lot of things available on internet but then again you cannot go and trust everything on internet so ultimately uh, you know whenever i had any doubt i i used to call you up and i and i knew that you know whenever i'll call you you were just a phone call away so it was very convenient i had so many doubts of course anybody who is uh, you know doing such a process will definitely have lots and lots of doubts in mind whether in terms of documents or you know just just simple little doubts also there's there's nobody whom you can go to but you are one person i i know i used to call you a lot and disturb you a lot but you were always there to solve my doubts so in terms of learnings i would say that whatever i have learned it's only because of you um whatever uh, steps you told uh, you guided me through i just followed that and you know step by step i arranged the documents and um whatever the entire process was um then uh, you also told me that you will be taking care of sop i don't have to worry about that uh, and i must say that you beautifully drafted the sop um you know like connecting everything connecting my background with my uh, present and how i am um, you know aspiring for what i'm aspiring in future so i think everything related to my academics and my present experience and my future everything was connected and gelled so well that um, i had no doubt after reading the sop although i mean obviously it's all um, in god's hands but um, i i was very much confident because the sop that you had drafted was uh, was really amazing it was to the point it was uh, drafted beautifully narrating each and everything in in a very uh, you know uh, positive and very good way so that was uh, one point which uh, i thought was you know excellent and i i had hopes that yes you know we can go ahead and uh, 
uh, I think that's that was the main thing which was um, uh, worrying me. But uh, once once I saw that, once I saw the SOP, it was I was I was really very satisfied. Um, in terms of other learnings, I would say it definitely was challenging. But again, you were there, your team was there, so we didn't feel that challenge because, as I said earlier, also I used to just give you a call whenever I had a doubt. So um, that was quite easy for me. Um, a piece of advice that I would like to share is that um, definitely please contact uh, Navdeep and contact Delhi Immigrations if you're planning to, um, you know, uh, study or uh, take a visa for uh, any of the purposes. Uh, because I think Navdeep is doing a great job. Navdeep's team is doing a great job, and. Um, you know they're always there to help you even if you know sometimes when you you might be busy you are not able to attend my call you always made a point to leave a message for me that ma'am i'm busy right now i'll give you a call so i mean these things it it shows that you know you're you're very very professional in your work so and um what I, else I, advice no, should i, I give I, I, <laughs> yeah i have a question for you uh, yeah. so uh, since you have lived in uae for many years and you worked over there mm -hmm. you know, as a teacher mm -hmm. uh, so when you thought about applying for the canada study visa so for the applicants in uae you know there are concerns that you know the success rate of abu dhabi consulate uh, is not that great so was it also mm -hmm. bothering you when you thought about this canada study visa process or how was that Yes, definitely, because I was not aware about this, actually. I got to know about this from you. So I had no idea that uh, this is uh, this is what is going to happen. So I had, I mean, it, I was not mentally prepared that, uh, you know, something like this can also happen. But then you advised me that, um, you know, it's, yeah, it is a challenge, but, uh, you know, we can take it through from here. But then you also at the same time advised me if I could go to uh, India and, you know, um, apply from there. So I didn't want to take any risk and I had full trust and faith in you. So I thought that, you know, I would stick to your advice and uh, I would uh, travel uh, back to India and I would apply from there. So I think that worked because um, I, I'm not sure if I would have applied from here. Definitely. I I mean, the chances were like in point 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 one percent so it's like um i i don't think so uh it it would have been worth it because yeah. ultimately you know making so much of effort from my side and from your side and then ultimately getting a rejection i don't think that's um you know worth it so i i just went as per your advice and um you know i went to india and i applied from there and uh, how much time it took to get the decision then i think about three months or more exact three months of the exact exact mm. three months um i had applied i think we had applied on 27th of may and uh we got it on 29th of uh, august and uh, you know when you saw the update the notification how was the reaction to getting the you know? <laughs> that 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 was uh, priceless. I mean, I can't explain that in words. There are no words to explain that because that feeling is just, you know, uh, the applicant can understand once he or she receives. So uh, it it was just like a dream come true. I had tears in my eyes. And um, of course, my family was there to, um, you know, uh, support me and um, to enjoy that moment with me. But definitely, um, you know, actually, uh, Till 27th, we we were waiting. You remember, I had called you also and I told you, Navdeep, yeah. it's 27th. I haven't got any information till now. Yeah. Uh, and then we thought of raising a web form and stuff. So, you know, when it was 29th, it was uh, Monday, I think. And then immediately I just got a mail in my uh, uh, inbox. And I was I, I just kept my fingers. So I said, oh, God, I don't know what is this about. <laughs> but then as soon as I logged in, uh, it, it was just, you know, the great news. And uh, we all were very happy. One more thing I would like to mention about you, Navdeep, which I really liked was that you have, um, you know, the the relationship that you have with your client. I think it's very, very crystal clear because I never felt from your end that you are hiding any information or, you know, you know, you know, you're not sharing something with me. You share the credentials, you share the login details, everything. And I was 
personally monitoring my file you know once you had uh, uploaded the documents you uh, asked me to log in and check and we together checked all the documents and then i myself i submitted my file and i was the complete uh, you know owner of my file so i think that was something that i really appreciate because i have heard many uh, from my uh, many colleagues and friends and all that the consultants they don't share um the login details and all and all with their uh, clients but i think uh, that that you know that relationship that you have with your client it's it's like there's nothing hidden i think that's really really good so thank you so much and hats off to you for the good work you're doing also i mean the overall idea is that you know we really want to work together with the applicant because right. as an applicant like you know more about your profile so we are just right. doing the documents and preparing but if you will review it you would be able to identify if we may have missed something right so so the idea is to work together and give the best shot possible so that you know we are submitting the accurate and best possible information so uh, exactly. i really want to thank you for being a very you know, professional and supportive throughout you know it makes our life easy actually so uh, I know. because I know. mostly we deal with the refusal cases only and you know people apparently applicants who have had refusals and apparently you know, it's not a pleasant feeling too so you know, that really deserves the applicant Um, but at the same time, mm-hmm. if if applicants support us positively, and it really makes a very easy. And uh, thank you very much for everything, ma'am. And I, I wish you great luck. I'm very very happy that you've got it. And it was equally important for us also to to have the decision because we also don't want it to fail. And ultimately, it happened. So many many congratulations. And for the uh, for the steps also, I wish you uh, great like uh, great luck for the life in Canada. Uh, if, there would be any questions please feel free to connect sure thank you so much navdeep and all the best to you as well for all your um, you know future work that you're doing and i'll get in touch with you again i have told you already so uh, so i'll be talking to you again later and uh, all the best to you and your team for all the great work that you guys are doing i know you are fulfilling lots of people's dreams so a lot of uh, good wishes you're getting already so just keep up the good work you're doing and all the best for future Thank you very much. Thank you for taking time. Have a good day. Thanks. Sure.